So hello everybody, it is Power Week, which means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time it is May 2019. So the most important feature here, it has to be the performance analyzer, right? You probably have played with it. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a deep dive in here, so I'll tell you what I've discovered using it. And I'm actually going to separate this video into two. The first one, which is this one, we're going to talk about how this thing works. So how you can actually collect data from the performance analyzer. But one of the features of the performance analyzer is that you can download the data. And in part two, I'm going to show you what you can do with that data. Okay. So let's start with feature number one. First of all, it is not a preview feature. So it is already built in here. You don't have to tick anything to be able to get it, but you do though need to go in here, view, and the performance analyzer to be able to like, I don't know if activate it, but show it. Uh, so here it says the performance analyzer, it is, uh, starts, you start monitoring your report to see details about the time taken to by each visual to query for its data and render the result. So the difference between the performance analyzer and what you can do with DAX Studio and Vertipack is that this gives you the information from the entire report. It's not focusing in only on DAX. It's telling you how long it takes from when a user does something on your page until it actually renders the results and shows them to you. So it's showing you everything. Do you still need DAX Studio? Do you still need Veripack? If you want to know more about your DAX queries, for sure. But this gives you the entire picture of what's going on in your page. You know, more often than not, it might be that you're sub-optimizing yourself when you think that, you know, your report is low. It's like, oh, it's got to be my DAX query. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just that you have too many filters on your page that slow down your page load, basically. So with the performance analyzer, you will be able to know that. You will be able to know when you have to dig deep into your DAX or when it's something else going on that you should be aware of. It's really, really cool. Okay, how about we give this a spin, a go. Start recording. That's what you need to click to be able to, you know, start recording uh, the performance of the page that you are in. You have to, you do this page by page, okay? If you don't click anything and you just click refresh visuals, what it will tell you is that how long it takes for this page to load when you haven't clicked anything. In this case, I do have 1996 set as a default filter. So this is probably in the query. We will take a look at that. But this is how it looks. It says the first thing is the user action. So it's telling you, this is what you did for me to record the steps below. And in this case, because I didn't do anything, it says refreshed visual, which is what we did. We click on refresh visuals and then it says, okay, how long does it take to load? And what you see here is, let me show you, basically the elements that you have in the canvas, in your page, but it's showing you the time it took to load. So you can see all these elements and then the time it took to load. You can see here that number of billionaires by four this year is the trend behind. You have a card, card, card. Those are the ones that took the longest and then you have four this year. And those are the ones that have a DAX query behind. So obviously they take longer to produce, right? As you can see, when I click on them, it just goes to the element on the visual pane so you know which ones they are. Now, when you are doing your, analyze, your analysis here in Power BI with the performance analyzer on, you can do that. You click in here, it says shape, you can see which shape it is. But if you're using this export button, which we'll talk about in part two, you are going to see shape, 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 and you will not know which shape is which one. So this is where I found out. For example, if we go in here, uh, so this shape is that shape. If I change the name in here and I put show me the money, 
I give it a name so I know which one it is. Clear this one and do refresh visual again. Check this out. So the, the name that you give them in the um, here on the selection pane is the name that you know follows along on the um, performance analyzer and then on the JSON file. So do you have to change the name of every element that you have on Power BI? Obviously not. That would be time consuming. But you come here, you analyze your report, and then you see, oh, I have these three cards. There are the ones that are taking most of the time. So you can actually rename those cards only. So you can actually then, when you export the file, you can follow along and see which card is which one. Okay? Just side note, I thought it was interesting uh, to explain that that's, that's a possibility. Okay. So... Here we have the cover, which is the population. You have how long it took the duck square to perform, how long it took to render the visual, and then you have other. When you export the data, you will know more about that other category. You can copy the query and see what query was actually executed. And let me show you. Here it is. So this is the DAX query, and it was, uh, you know, as I told you, 1996 was set as a filter. So we have take filter of 1996 and then do, you know, summarize the table for 1996 and give the user the result. Obviously, as it is a CAD, it has to display less data. You would have a table, it would display more data, it would probably take longer time. Okay. And those are the things you can test. What happens if I show you as a graph? What happens if I show you as a table? What happens if I show you and test and see what is eating up your performance in your report? Cool, right? Okay. Here you clear. Here you can stop. Start again. So you can say, I want to know how long it takes when I click on 2014. And here you see, change a slicer. And then it gives you the performance of that. And you can see that this does not take any time again for there's no DAX going on. It's just the display image that has already been rendered. It doesn't need to be re-rendered again. You see? It rendered once, doesn't take any longer to render again because you don't have to do it. And then you can see here again that is the filter and the cards that take the longest to update. And all of this is in milliseconds, right? This is not seconds, this is milliseconds, just so you are aware of. Um, you have here, um, if you would like to refresh just one visual, I want to see how long it takes for, to make this calculation. You can refresh that and you will see it here, card, how long it took, and then you can see oh, the, the different data. So if you click here, export, the last time I click export, it crashes. Hopefully it won't crash, but if you click export, you will actually download a JSON file with all the data that we've collected. And there is a possibility then for you to go and download that data. Uh, the level of granularity on that download is just brutal, I'm telling you. Um, Let's see what it is so, mm, 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 here. And obviously you need some documentation for it. Uh, you see? I mean, try to understand anything in there without any documentation. Mm, 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 not going to work, but there is a way. So that is what I'm going to show you in part two, how you can actually grab this thing and start visualizing the data so you can go even deeper, even further into how Power BI visualizes data. And when you start understanding how Power BI visualizes and renders data, it will allow you to create faster reports, for sure, for sure. So this is worth to take in the time. Even if your reports are usually fast, this is a good thing to do. So I don't think I forgot to 
say anything, but if there's any other thing that you know, like, oh, Ruth, you can also do this and this with Power BI, you know, this performance analyzer, just as always, give us a shout out on the comments and we'll read it and think it's super interesting. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. I really, really, really appreciate it because you know it. I don't know everything. Um, okay, so with that said, um, give it a go. Take it for a spin. Let us know what you think. And uh, I'll see you again on part two. I'm not sure when I can publish part two because the documentation has to be published uh, on Microsoft. But as soon as they publish it, I publish my video, okay? Bye.